Hey, how's everyone doing today? Usually I do these riding down the road, but walking my dog, Tobin, say hello Tobin. She said hello. And so beautiful, I thought I would do it walking. So last night I was talking to someone or messaging them and you know, just kind of casual conversation but she said something that has really kind of bothered me um, even today and it's got me thinking about other situations that I've experienced and just thought I would share a little bit uh, my thoughts on it and maybe hopefully encourage someone um, but she was she basically said that the relationship that she's in is not it's not a good relationship now not to say there are like bad things going on but it's just the person she's with is not like respecting her and not appreciating her and <clears throat> I've been single for a while now and have put myself out there to get to know girls and to try to have a relationship and what I'm finding to be so common is these girls that are in these relationships where these guys just treat them like crap and then it doesn't last so whenever they try to get in another relationship it ends up being a problem like for me I've done my share of bad things and I've made mistakes and I have to pay the consequences for those mistakes. But I'm also, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm also having to pay the consequences and for mistakes that other people have made because how they have chosen to treat people that they're in a relationship with. And it's not cool. It really stinks. And there was this guy that I was playing Call of Duty with the other night and like I hear the way he talks to like his girlfriend and it's rude and I, I told him because he's a young kid and I told him I said do you realize that guys like me who actually want to treat a woman with respect and want to show love are now having to pay for how you're treating that girl because chances are you're not going to work out and when you don't work out, she tries to get another relationship, she's gonna be traumatized by how you treated her. And then what's gonna to happen to you, because I know from personal experience, is when you get older, your reputation is gonna carry along with you, and you're gonna now be paying for your mistakes, and when you finally decide that you wanna treat someone with respect, you're gonna to have to deal with the kind of girl that you caused her to be. So, that's not what God wants for us. You know, the Bible says that we are fearfully and wonderfully made. It tells us that we are more than conquerors and that we can do anything through Christ. God loves us that he sent his son to die for us. That's not to be taken lightly. That's not like, and maybe I'm going to be a little off theologically here. And if I am, I'm sorry, but. I just feel like this whole idea like we deserve hell is kind of off base. I think that we earn hell by things that we do, but if we just deserved hell, then that kind of negates the beauty of God's creation, the fact that he loved us. Now the point of grace is that he loves us so much he gave us an opportunity to not have to go to hell. But for, for me to be fearfully and wonderfully made, that's not deserving of hell. That's deserving of blessings and beauty and love. So my opinion, and I hope that you can feel this for yourself, is that you are worth something or else God would not have created you. You do have a purpose or else you wouldn't be here. 
So you deserve more. You do. You can't live in shame. You can't live in guilt. Trust me, I know. It hurts more and more and more. It doesn't get better until you get away from it. You know, if I was to stay in my past, what kind of future would I have? And I'm constantly being reminded of my past, but I have to get away from that. I have to stand firm in the strength that God has given me, that his word tells me that I have in him. And I have to believe that things are going to get better, that they are better. You know, I'm, we never stay the same. It's like the waves, the ocean. You see the same ocean, you see the same wave, but they're never exactly the same. So people are never the same. They're always either getting better or they're getting worse. I choose to get better. No matter what I've done in my past, I choose to get better. It hurts sometimes, it's hard sometimes, but I keep going. I've said this before, success is not about not failing, but it's about not ever giving up. So anyway, whoever's watching this, just know that you are worth more and you do deserve more. Now, if you're a piece of crap, I hope you work that out. But if you're a good person, and not just a good person, because good people are going to hell too. But be a good person. You know, I hope that you know Jesus as your Savior. I really do. I tried to get away from it. I couldn't. Just kept bringing me right back to it. But anyway, my point is, don't settle for less. Don't, don't accept defeat. Don't accept that this is it. Know that God has more for you. He wants more for you. And he can give you more if you will take it. You just have to believe in him, trust him, and just keep going. Don't lose hope. All right, so love God, love people, change the world. God bless you.